Hey guys, Chip Walters here, and I want to share with you a real quick way on how to use your Boolean cutters to also cut through the decals. So let's take a look and see what we're talking about. Here's a cube. I'm going to shift A. I'm going to basically add a cube to it. Move it up to one, so we're centered on centered. And now I'm just going to move it, thin it out a little bit. And then I can hit the S key for scale and the shift Y, which will scale proportionally around the Y axis, and we're done. Shift here, control, and numpad minus, and we have our hole cut through. You can see there, I'll just make it a little thinner, something like that. And if we go in our modifiers, you're going to see that indeed we have that Boolean cube. I'm going to drop this bevel so that we have a little tiny bevel on the end here. So that's going to be good. Okay, now that we have this done, I will just add the insert, and we'll move it somewhere like this. And with the smart mode turned on, we'll just do this to make sure we center it. I'm going to turn smart mode off at this point. And now that we have this set up, let's go ahead and scale it down a little bit. And I think we're in pretty good shape. So once this is done, it's very simple. We're going to select our cutter and we're going to select our decal. And again, we're going to do control numpad minus. And that cuts right through our decal. And we're good to go. So cute little trick. One other thing I'll show you while I'm in here is that one of the nice things about the kit ops decals is that if you want, let's say we want to add a little bit of dirt to this thing and we'll go into the, the decal and we have this grunge effect and I'm going to just drag this on out and you can see it's changing it as we do it and I'll go over here and let's say, oh let's go to metal and I'll go to steel dirty and I'll add that on there and there we have that. And while we're at it, let's go ahead and add some dirt onto this cube. And we'll go into our CW Dirty. And I'm gonna select this. And I'm gonna just add the, let's say Dirty Up. Let's do this one right here. Add Insert, drop it in there. X, delete it. So we just dropped an object and deleted it, but now we have the actual group node stored. So I can come back into here, scroll all the way out and then say shift a and we'll go down to group and we'll say cw dirty up and i'm gonna drag that right in between these two and you can start to see that there's already some dirt and grime put on this object we can punch out a little more lighting in our world and back to here and i can change the amount of dirt i can change the height of it. So as you can see, it's going up now more and I can even change the color. So if I want to make it something like brown, I can do that. And it also will actually affect the ambient occluded areas as well. So hopefully you found that interesting and we'll see you online.